Wouldn't it be great to automatically move the grid selection on your launch pads via max for life devices and being able to automate the selection of the red box and the clip grid which is representing the session view of Ableton Live on your launch pads. It's possible now via a max for life device of mine. Hi, I'm Toby from AbletonDrummer.com. You will find the link to those max for life devices in the video description. So. What is the idea here? The idea is um, when people have a, a huge set in Ableton Live's session view, it's a little bit hard to navigate sometimes and maybe you want to switch and you want to jump to a certain selection um, of your view here. So I made those devices and as you can see, you have the possibility. So the first one is controlling the Launchpad Mini MK3 and the second one is controlling the Launchpad Pro MK3. So um, you have those selections here and you can see this in Ableton Live and you can see that on the launch pad that the scenes or the tracks are moving dependent on what you select inside the device here. So you have a few things you can select uh, a few different modes here. So for example, you could navigate via the track and the scene selection here so you could set up dummy clips to move somewhere. So let's quickly do that for the mini. So if we set up a clip and if we go to the envelope view, by the way, those devices will work in Ableton 12 as well, Ableton Live 12. So we can um, select the tracks we want to jump to. So maybe select something like maybe track four here. So we edit the value of the breakpoint I just made and we maybe want to move to a different scene here. So let's maybe at a breakpoint, just click on the red line edit value and let's say we want to move to uh, 8 for example. So um, I just kind of switch off the loop of this MIDI clip here because we don't want this to send this all the time. We just want this to be sent once. So if I now have automated this and if I play this clip here where I automated this grid um, changer here, you can see on the Launchpad Mini now that this is changing and the red box we are seeing here is changing to this selection I made via this automation here. So obviously I can make more automations and jump back as well. So if you, for example, have a big set and if you wanna jump to a certain point, you can set up a dummy clip, set up an automation on this thing here. So there are two more ways on how to set this up. First of all, let me show you um, what how you select the device here. So if you go into your preferences in Ableton Live preferences under link tempo MIDI, you will find the different control surfaces here. And as you can see, I have a Launchpad Mini MK3 in the first slot, APC Mini M Mark II. The device will work for that as well and the Launchpad Pro MK3 in the third slot here. And so if I change something, just to show you, if I now go here, I refresh this and you can see it's representing on the device which um, control surfaces do you, you have active here and it will um, then represent this on this device here and then you select the one you want to um, control with this device and as you can see you can control multiple devices obviously uh, multiple launch pads in this particular use case here so you just select the different launch pad here and now I am controlling oh I'm too high I am controlling if I select this refresh select the mk3 sorry you can see I'm now controlling the Pro with the first device here as well. I just quickly gonna jump back to the first one, just double check this and it's now controlling the first one again. Okay, so now if you don't wanna set up uh, automations for and dummy clips for every clip, you have different options here. So for example, selected scene. So I'm gonna do this for both devices here. So that means if I select a scene now in Ableton Live, so scene selection is now on number 15. If I just select this one here, if I select another one, 
you can see that the grids and the selection of the red box or of the session grid um, is moving to that scene and obviously if you have a different track selected here so maybe select track 5 for this one you can see on the launch pads they are moving <clears throat> and in Ableton Live those grids are moving now depending on which scene is currently selected. Okay, you can have one more um, selection here. So if you always want to jump um, and have the far top left corner of the device uh, jumping to um, the playing clips so this is um, something to set this up a little bit quicker so if we play a clip it will jump to that one as the topmost here and scene selection is selected here as well in the preferences so the scene selection is going somewhere it's following here as well so you could set it up like this as well but if you don't have the scene selection automatically selecting a scene when you play a clip um, this will work as well in this way. So if we trigger something on here, you can see it's jumping there as well. So this is an option on how to set this up as well. So those are Max for Life devices. Max for Life is included in Ableton Live Suite or can be bought as an add-on towards Ableton Live Standard. You can't make use of those devices if you don't have Max for Life. So. Those, uh, I'm just showing you this on the launch pads here. I'm, um, I have a list of devices which I tested with this device. Um, if you have an older device, so for example, if you have a launch pad one, the very first one, um, there is a second device included which is compatible to older devices. For example, the APC Mini Mark One, APC 40 Mini Mark One. So um, there is a second device. So I hope I um, this is um, I made this comp compatible to as many devices as there are. Obviously, I couldn't test all devices there are, but I tested the APC twenty, um, the APC forty Mark two, um, the Launchpads um, Mini um, Pro, and the Launchpad. X, so the Mark III and the Launchpad X, they are definitely working. Um, the APC 64 is working as well. So, and the list obviously gets updated. Just follow the links in the video description and to check out, to check out those devices, and you will see um, an updated compatibility list there as well. Nice one. Take care.